lying down and oh my soul so weary when troubles come and my heart burden me and I am still and wait here in the silence till you come and sit a while with me you raise me up King of eternal glory.
watch the sunrise lighting the sky, casting each shadow's leaves. And on this morning, bright though it be, I feel those shadows near me. But you In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him, while we mourn for the loss of Amon, we trust in Christ, our risen Savior. Let us praise God, for with Him there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I want to welcome here today in the church, especially Anne and Steps on them, daughter Shona, sister Mary, Sandra and Jane, daughter in law. Now my grandchildren, brothers, and nephews, nieces, other relatives and friends. Today is just limited, but we are together and we pray together for Amon and for your family. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my thought, through my thought, through my most gravest fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the ancient saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant Amon, whom you have called to journey to you. And since he hoped and believed in you, grant that he may be lead to our true homeland, to delight in its everlasting joys, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Now is the first reading. 
not going to read. First three. <laughs> reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven to say, write this, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, said the Spirit, let them find rest from their labours, from their works accompanying them. The word of the Lord. I, the Lord of sin, and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save, I who made the stars of night, I will make the darkness bright, who will bear This is the love I mean, not our love for God, but God's love for us when he sent his son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. My dear people, since God loved us so much, we too should love one another. No one has ever seen God, but as long as we love one another, God will live in us and his love will complete in us the word of the Lord. Praise to you. 
please stand up for gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from a holy gospel according to John. Mary, the sister of Lazarus, went to Jesus, and as soon as she sh sh saw him, she threw herself at his feet, saying, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not be have died. And at the sight of her tears, and those of the Jews who followed her, Jesus said in great distress, with a sigh that came straight from the heart, Where have you put him? They said, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. And the Jews said, See how much he loved him. But there were some who remembered. He opened the eyes of the blind man. Could he not have prevented this man's death? Still sighing, Jesus reached the tomb. It was a cave with a stone to close the, the, the opening. Jesus said, Take the stone away. Martha said to, to him, Lord, by now he will smell. This is the fourth day. Jesus replied, Have I not told you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus lift, lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing my prayer. I knew indeed that you always hear me, but I speak for the sake of all these who stand round me, so that they may believe it was you who sent me. When he had said this, he cried in a loud voice, Lazarus here, come out. The dead man came out, his feet and hands bound with bands of stuff and a cloth round his face. Jesus said to them, Unbind him, let him go free. Many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what he did believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we are saying goodbye to our brother Amon. If uh, we had no bounds with other people, the hour of parting would, would not be so sad, but who wants to live alone? Life is, a, is full of parting. No matter how close our relationships with our loved ones are, we still have to part with them from time to time. Sometimes parting can be very painful. The closer the bond we have with someone, the longer the period of separation is likely to be, the more we feel the pain of parting. Why is parting so painful? Because it is only when we have to part with people that we realize how much we love them. In fact, the full word of a friend may not become apparent to us until he has actually gone from us. Now, what is true of ordinary parting is even truer of the parting we call death. Death is the most irrevocable parting of all. This is time our loved one will not be returning. But we believe that he lives with God and he is waiting for us. For Christians, for us, that death is just a part of life. It is not the end of life. We believe that Jesus told us the truth, that I am the resurrection and the life. 
If anyone believes in me, he will live. And Jesus told this to Mary, to Lazarus' sister, and she believed and she saw the miracle because her brother came to life. The Gospel shows us that Jesus shared with us the pain of dying and the parting with his friends. Jesus wept. We have got just two places in the Gospel when Jesus wept. The first one is when, the, when his friend Lazarus died and the second is when Jesus was weeping after the Jerusalem that the city didn't recognize him as a messiah. But today we want to say to Amon, we will see you again. We want to say this with our hope and faith. See you again. Now is the prayer of the faithful. God our Father has given us victory over sin and death through his Son, Jesus Christ. Let us turn to him in our honor of need and pray to him with confidence. You are welcome to read the prayer of the faithful. In baptism, Amon was given the place of eternal life. May he now be admitted to the company of the saints. Lord, hear us. For the family of Amon, that in these difficult and dark days, they may be sustained by their faith and by the knowledge that they will be reunited with Amon one day in God's heavenly kingdom. Lord, hear us. For our deceased relatives and friends, that God may bring them into the light of his presence and give them a share in his glory. Lord, hear us. For all the faithful departed, that they may see God face to face in the kingdom of heaven. Lord, hear us. For all here present, that our remembrance of Amon may be a source of comfort and strength to us. Lord, hear us. Father, into your hands we commend the soul of our brother Amon. Look gently upon him and bring him home to your kingdom, where death will be no more. We ask this through Christ our Lord. <laughs> Sometimes I think 
Sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Amen. We beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and ever to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of blessed resurrection has done that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy their holy gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by the cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brandon, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Amen, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quarries to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamp of God, we take away the sins of the world. Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord, the judgment of the nation of the mercy and protection of the body of the Lord. Behold the Lamp of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my room, but only say the word of my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us for eternal.
at all Makes no difference if you're just a child like me Or a king upon the throne For there are no exceptions We all stand in the line Everybody needs a friend Let me tell you all Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our Father express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again, when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself.
receive her so his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his help. Hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. In your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Amon in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to confront one another with assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and we are with you and with our brother forever. In peace let us take our brother to his place of rest. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lots of folk gathered round. 